Hey guys, it's Cameron Garrett from Making Faces and Tutus. Um, I'm channeling my inner Elsa because we're going to paint a Frozen design. I know there's been a bunch of them. Um, I've been doing an eye design, but my little girls have been running around in these princess crowns. So this one is Elsa's. I'm going to do something um, inspired by this. And I made a new one stroke that has, um, let's see, tag pearl light blue. I think that's the powder blue. And this is the Fab Ziva blue. So we're going to try it in a princess crown today. I'm going to use a tag number 12 three quarter brush and load my one stroke with most of the darker blue in it. We're going to start in the middle and make like a little pointy petal shape. I know the movie is all the rage right now. We can't stop singing it around here. Even my husband's been singing Let It Go in the summer song. Um, okay, we're going to keep the dark blue on the outside, and we're going to make a little band. Actually, I lied. Put the dark blue on the bottom. And we're going to just make a little band around. on either side. Okay. Now, this crown has some little points on it. So I'm going to flip my brush. The dark blue is on the bottom and I'm going to Push it in and pull it up. Twist it to a point. We're going to do the same thing on both sides. Dark blue is on the bottom. I'm going to push it and pull it to a point. Then on the outer side of each side, we're going to go Sorry, dark blue on the bottom again. Pull it up. Bring it back in. On this side. Up. And back in. So we have little points. Now for the band on the bottom of the crown, I'm going to use a number three and some white. And on my eyes I just used some fab silver and some ice blue glitter. I think the little girls will really like it. And we're just going to... Draw a line around the bottom of the crown because we're going to give it some more detail. I feel like I'm doing more and more frozen parties, so I need to come up with some more designs. Okay, now we're gonna do three teardrops in the bottom. And then we're gonna do push down, in, in. Kinda like you're doing lace, and we're gonna do it all the way across the bottom of the band.
We're going to do a jewel in the middle, so I skipped that part. And I'm using Diamond Effects White. But I like Chameleon too, when I can't get Wolf White. Okay, now I'm going to use a smaller circle pouncer sponge and spray it. And I have a snowflake tap stencil. I'm going to load the white until it's really sticky. So not too much water on your sponge. This is what it looks like when it's loaded. And I'm going to use, there's one kind of bigger snowflake. I'm going to stick it right on top. I'm sorry, it's hard for me to see. There we go. And then I'm going to do the little one one right there and one right here. Sorry, my computer keeps making noises. Okay. Now we're just going to do a quick little line. to kind of outline or highlight. Here we go. This one should be pretty simple once you get the hang of it. We're gonna put our jewel in the middle. And do some Just random size dots like snow. Coming out. And there we go. There's our pretty fast and easy Elsa princess crown. I hope that you like it. Please check out my page, Making Faces and Tutus, on Facebook, or on my website is www.makingfaces.vpweb.com. Thanks. I hope that you like it. Please subscribe.